video shows the moment a gun went off at a Lake Wiley bagel shop shooting an innocent customer in the leg. The gun owner said it was an accident and he will not be charged. Now Channel 9 is investigating the state laws and what this could mean in other cases when the injuries are much worse. Now watch this again. You can see the flash right here and then this man who was shot his leg, he begins to fall over the gun over gun mm. owner tries to help him. He jumps up to assist. <laughs> Channel 9's Ken Lemon is live at the bagel boat on Lake Wiley and Ken you learned uh, why there won't be any charges in this case. I mean it's it's an incredible story. Yeah, the sheriff said it is not a crime. The man had a concealed carry permit. He had the weapon in his pocket. He got that permit in North Carolina, covered here in South Carolina. I spoke with an instructor that said that the only way that he could be charged with an accident for an accidental discharge in a case like this is if he had alcohol to drink. You can see the gunshot right there. That quick flash that startled the crowd Saturday morning was captured by a security camera at the bagel boat in Lake Wiley. Gun must have hit somewhere over here. In the video, you see the moment the victim felt the bullet hit his leg. The gun slipped out of the owner's pocket in a crowded restaurant. We're just very thankful that it ended the way it did and that uh, nobody was hurt more seriously than the victim and his wife are new customers who just moved to the area from Chicago. The gun owner was the first to step right up to help the wounded man. He was very apologetic. The victim is recovering. The prosecutor and the sheriff decided not to press charges in this case, saying it was a bad idea but not intentional. I talked to firearms instructor Jennifer Friedel by phone. She teaches and operates a concealed carry course in North Carolina. I would never advise someone to carry a handgun loosely in their pocket. Too many things can go wrong, she said, but it's not illegal to keep a gun in your pocket as long as you have a concealed carry permit. She said she teaches owners to keep guns on a holster or in a purse and to be more cautious around other people. It's also our duty to be responsible and the owners of this store said they're considering prohibiting guns in this store, placing a ban. That ban would also cover people with concealed carry permits in a case like this. Uh, so in this case, yeah, he was covered under North Carolina's laws because that's where the concealed carry license is from. But I know you also looked into the rules in South Carolina, Ken. Yeah, and according to the instructor that I spoke with, those rules are very same. They were structured uh, alike, and so the same thing would apply from North Carolina in South Carolina if that incident happened where he got a permit in South Carolina. All right, Ken Lemon reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Ken. Now, we did look at similar cases in other states. There was one back in 2015 where a guy in Florida accidentally shot his pregnant girlfriend. She and the unborn child both died in that case. As terrible as that is, the man was not charged because prosecutors did not think it rose to negligence or even recklessness. Now in Virginia, the laws are much stricter. It's a misdemeanor to even handle a gun recklessly, even if no one is injured. If somebody is hurt, the gun owner could be charged with a felony and face five years in prison. Well, Channel 9 checked the gun violence archive that keeps track of accidental shootings around the U.S. There have been more than 300 of those accidental shootings so far this year. 24 have been in the Carolinas.